So again, just going to keep going horizontal. Can you see that if I go up like that in a diagonal, it starts to look a little strange? So keep those reflective colors all going on there horizontally. Okay, maybe I'll blend a little of this pinky color now down into my blues and greens down in here. So using that dry brush, I'm able to get some really nice subtle effects there. So one thing that you want to do with this painting is occasionally, like especially during our drying times, but even more often than that, step away from your painting and get some objectivity on it because it's very difficult when you're just eight inches here from your canvas to really see the effect that you're getting. It's hard to see, you know, the forest through the trees. And therefore, if you step back once in a while or even take a photograph of it, that's another great way to see things more objectively. And, um, and get a feel for if you like the shapes that are being created between your warm and cool colors or your light and darks. Um, also, just you know, kind of maybe the variation that you've got going on. So do get away from your painting once in a while so that you can look at it a little differently.